As I'm up here at 8,500 feet, uh, glassed for elk, uh, kind of hit this low spot for the day. Um, let's go over my cook system for my backcountry backpack hunts. For the longest time, I was using a jet boil, and I got a lot of use out of this, but it just weighs a whole heck of a lot, and it takes a lot of space in the pack. Uh, since then, I've moved over to a custom cook set, and it's a lot lighter, and it fits so much better inside the pack. Everything fits really neat in the carrying case that comes with the pot that I really um, made this kit around. Um, on top, we've got a Sea to Summit X mug. It's a silicone collapsible mug. It's super light, works really well for coffee um, and or other beverages you might have on the trail. Um, what I've got packed on the bottom is a jet boil uh, base for my fuel canister. I'm just running the three ounce canisters. This is a Snow Peak uh, snow power canister. Um, I've used the jet boil. I've used um, uh, several other brands to MSR and they're all about the same, but uh, I've been getting good results with the Snow Peak. The stove I'm using is the Soto Woodmaster Fourplex. It's a pretty lightweight stove. Um, you can compare it to an MSR Pocket Rocket. Uh, the one thing I really kind of dislike about it is there's a little bit of assembly required with uh, this stove in particular. Um, as you can see here, this is a spring-loaded um, pot stand set up and it uh, nestles right on the burner itself. Um, you kind of have to get it just right. Sometimes it's a little finicky um, to get everything to line up and, and pop on correctly. Um, but the head of that burner there, it, it is raised a little bit on the edges, so it does help with wind mitigation um, a little bit. So it does all right. It's not the best, um, but it uh, does do a pretty decent job as what, at what it claims. The pot is a Tokes 500 milliliter uh, titanium pot. This is by far like the best bang for your buck for a titanium pot. It is top notch and just a fantastic piece of a kit. Um, and you can see everything fits inside there. Uh, by the way, I'm using a Hydro Pack, a one liter bottle. These things collapse down really small when they're not in use. So, and they take, uh, they're so much lighter than an Algene bottle. Now the stove does have a built-in uh, lighter already on it, so no need to carry a, a lighter with you to light it. That is a pretty neat feature to have and it works really well. Um, just a couple clicks and it's started and ready to rock and roll. And we've got a good boil here. And I think that took uh, three minutes or so at that elevation. And I had very minimal wind uh, deflection on it too. Uh, in my opinion, instant coffee is the superior choice for uh, a tasty brew out on the trail. Um, they're really light. You can pack a whole bunch in your pack and they're very easy to make. Now I've used coffee or I've made coffee on the trail with my uh, jet boil uh, French press attachment and it does make a pretty good cup of coffee, but it's a little bit more involved with, um, uh, with making a cup. Um, and then you've got to deal with uh, the coffee grounds afterwards. So. This works really well for me, and I would really recommend you picking up some instant coffee of your choice uh, for your next little backcountry adventure. Another cool thing on how this whole system integrates into itself, um, the X mug fits perfectly inside of the Tokes pot, and now you've got yourself uh, somewhat of a double wall insulated setup that's super light, uh, so it'll keep your coffee warmer for a little bit longer, um, and then you don't have to pack around a Yeti or any other stainless steel double wall insulated mug. So that's just a, a trick that I found um, while I was using this kit that I put together. And of course, I like my breakfast bars from Cliff, a little blueberry crisp and some coffee, uh, waiting for an elk to pop up. It makes a fantastic little uh, snack while you're sitting there glassing for elk. To make this a complete video, um, I do want to show you guys how to get all of this inside of the pot. Um, 
it took me a little bit of trial and error, but this is the best way that I found. So we're gonna take the pot support, we're gonna flip it upside down uh, with the feet facing up. Uh, that way, if you have any remaining dirt on the feet, it doesn't transfer the dirt into your pot. It kind of keeps your pot a little cleaner. Next, we'll grab our fuel, flip it upside down, and that will nestle really neatly um, inside that pot support. And it'll kind of keep them uh, rattling to a minimum. Next, we'll take our stove head and we're going to nestle this inside of the pot support. So if you just open those wings on the pot support, uh, drop that head right into place, everything will co-align together in a pretty good way. And you can just kind of adjust everything in there just so everything looks neat and you know, fits tidy. And lastly, we'll take the X mug and place it over the top of the system. Um, this is gonna act as a lid for the kit. Uh, the diameters of the X mug and the pot coincidentally line up perfectly to where you can get a, a good seal and a good tight fit to where nothing's going to um, fall off. If you guys are interested in putting together a similar kit for your adventures, I will place links in the description to where you can purchase all of these items. All right, thanks guys, appreciate it. We'll see you later.